Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday call. Um, as you know, I am Ron Archer. I hope there's a bunch of new folks on here. Um, we are starting out the week this week. You got to. Yes. Uh, we are starting out the week this week and we're talking about. Or let me just tell you the title for the week. I joined Evolution Travel. Now what? So we're going to talk about, for everybody that's either new or not so new, you know, we're kind of refreshing. Um, now that you've joined the organization or now that you've recruited somebody into the organization, once they've joined the program, now what? Let's see. Can you see both of us here? Let's, uh, let's come this way. You're good. You're good. You're good. Can we see? Okay. I guess I'm out of the light. Okay. So you've recruited somebody into evolution or you're just joining evolution travel. What is the first thing that you tell them to do? It's probably review the videos and take the test, right? That's, yes. That's, that's what we tell people. That's to what do. we tell them. Okay. Once you've taken the test, once you've reviewed the videos, now what? That's the biggest question. Now what? What do I do? I, I Now I am a business owner. I have my own home-based travel business. I'm paying 50 bucks to get in and 70 bucks a month to be there. Uh, I'm excited about being in the travel business. Now what? What am I going to do? <laughs> right? <laughs> I go to bed at night thinking, uh, how, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I, what am I going to do tomorrow? How am I going to get clients? How am I going to make money? How, how, who, who's going to want to do business with me? So I came up with five simple things that I think would be very helpful in getting people started in the travel business and focusing in on making evolution travel a positive experience. And as I've said before, one of the most important things about once you've joined Evolution Travel and, and the most important thing to keeping somebody in Evolution Travel is if they're going to see benefit from that. I used to say it was going to be that they made money, but people join for a lot of reasons. People join for the social aspect. People join for the travel discounts. People join to get to, because they're, they love travel, any number of reasons. But they've got to receive benefit. They've got to receive tangible benefit. So um, I came up with five. Can you see that? Oh, you can't see it. It's yellow. It's yellow. Oh, it's yellow. You can't see what I got. So I have a list. Wow, that's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it against this? No. Nope. Okay, you can't even see the whiteboard. No. Nope. Okay. I hey, Amanda. The, I can fix the background. Fix the background. We got to be able to see the whiteboard. Keep talking. We're technically challenged here at Archer Travel. Remember, we're in the travel business. We're not in the media business. We do this as uh, 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 none. Well, I don't want to see the green screen. Well, that didn't work. Okay, stick with the none. Okay, so you can see our beautiful green screen. Um, ha, see, I have a list now. Okay. Simple as it is, the very first thing that I would do is I would print business cards. I would go out and I would print a minimum of 100 and probably more like 250. Why? It's a great resource to give out to family members. It's a great resource to give out to, it's a walking billboard for yourself. It's, it's great advertisement. And it's a cheap way to advertise and it gives you credibility. Yeah, but not if they sit in your pocket. No, you, you have to hand them out. <laughs> you got to hand them out. Print 250 business cards and get rid of them as fast as you can. Now, Reggie and I were talking about this. We were talking about business cards and what should be on a business card. Tell me what you told them or tell them what you told me. Before you buy your business card, you want to have a professional email. You don't want an email that says, Bubbles at travelescapes.com 
or you know big toe whatever at gmail.com you want to have a professional email um mine is reggie at archertravel.com when i ran a youth soccer club it was reggie.soccer because I, I coach soccer so it's simple professional it gives you credibility to having a professional email people look at your emails and if it's something crazy they're not going to memorize so have something professional and if you already have a business an llc and it's wacky travel you know at wherever your town is, maybe that's what it is. It's wacky travel at wacky travel.com. Which wacky travel may not be a bad no. title, depending on what area of the business that you're working on. Um, one of the agents I know has uh, uh, flip flop. I think yeah. simply flip flop travel or rising tides travel, you know, these denote beach type of situations. But it's it's we've seen some other ones that uh, that really don't have a connection to the travel industry. Do something professional. Professional. Also, um, what phone numbers? Well, I would put my personal cell number on it. Yeah. And if you have a business line, add your business line. Um, but I I don't know if you want to add your home line if if you're if you're working out of home. Just depends on your situation. If you want to take calls in the middle of the night on your home line and wake up your entire family. Um, so look at a business line, your cell line, and if you still have a home landline, that could be an option. But be careful because you obviously, if you have children or if you don't want to wake up your wife or husband in the middle of the night, have it use your cell phone. What else? Address. What else? Logo. What else? Well, the color of the cards could help too. What else? Oh, he's got more. Oh, social media. Social media is a big one. If you have Facebook, Instagram, put all those on there. Another big one is a website. Put you, you, we, you get a website from us right now, put your website on that business card. Add the website to it. The second thing on my list is to build a social media presence. Now, um, I believe in non-digital marketing. I believe in pressing the flesh. I believe in you know touching and, and speaking and, and doing it all in the presence all in the present, all, you know, face-to-face -face kind of situation. However, I cannot deny that social media is extremely powerful. So you need to build a social media presence, whether you build a, a, a separate Facebook page. I have two Facebooks. I have Ron K. Archer, which is my evolution Facebook. And then I have R, uh, Ron Archer, uh, which is private just for my, my family. I, I, it's not social or a public in any manner. Um, a social media page is something that you also need to work on. Just like a business card. Business cards aren't gonna get out and advertise your program if they're sitting in your pocket or sitting in some box on your desk. You gotta, you gotta put a bunch of them in your pocket and you gotta give them out. And you can say, hey, I'm in the travel business. If I can ever help you with anything, hey, you know, let me know. A uh, business card, it costs you a couple of pennies a piece and, it, and it's something people could keep in their wallet. Hey, we're thinking about going to Hawaii or we're thinking about doing this. Well, your response would be, hey, can I give you a call? What's, you know, what's your phone number? You know, be proactive. Social media, same thing. Build a website. But then you it's not – see, here's the deal. Just because you built a social media website doesn't mean that people are going to call you to book travel. There, there, there's got to be a hook. There's got to be some reason that they're calling. Maybe it's some special that you promoted. Maybe it's some sort of a deal that you put together. Maybe there's a group and they want to go with that particular bunch of people somewhere. You've got to figure out a way to get to people and make them want to deal with you. It's not build it and they will come. It doesn't work that way. It's build it, advertise it, market it, speak about it, invite people, and then they're going to start to come and they might start slowly and then it's going to build on itself. This is a business that you're building. You, just because you bought into the business and have a home-based business doesn't mean you're automatically going to start making money really quick, which is a concern with a lot of network marketing companies because that's why people get in and then they get out in two or three months because they don't see the tangible benefit to it. So that brings me to number three. I can't believe I'm saying this. I never would have said this five years ago, but I'm going to tell you right now, recruit other agents. You should start recruiting other people into the program as soon as possible. Why? Because I'm greedy. If you recruit other agents into the program and they start selling travel, you make 10% of the commission that they make. 
That's a revenue stream automatically built in for you as well. If you start building a network of people, then you can start having your own network meetings and you can start talking about ideas and you can start talking about concepts and you can start networking with them on what you guys have for best practices on how to promote your business. And when somebody starts selling that's directly underneath you, you're going to make 10% of what they generate. If you, got, if you got out there and got 20 people as direct reports to you and they all sold travel, you'd never have to sell travel a day in your life or you'd make a great living. Think about that. It's a tangible result that's going to come back to you in a very powerful way. Which brings me to my next point that I thought I would never talk about. One of the big things about network marketing in the travel industry is that the travel industry thinks that network marketing is a bunch of people that are just in it for the travel discounts. And I've always said that Archer Travel Service is in network marketing. We're a travel agency first that happens to be in network marketing. We're not a network marketing company that has to be in travel. You understand the distinction? You understand the difference? Yes. We are first and foremost a travel company and we use network marketing for sales distribution to build travel sales and to build sales reps, what ultimately makes more travel sales. Did I say that right? You said it completely correct. You sure? I'm positive. You're awful quiet over there. I'm making sure he's saying it correctly. That's all. That's right. He had one thing to uh, contribute today and that was the, uh, the uh, thing about the email. I was very impressed. So I made, I said, I told him he had to stand in with me today. Okay, you ready? What I never thought I would tell people? Oh boy, this ought to be interesting. I haven't read the fifth one, so sorry guys. <laughs> start researching travel discounts and freebies and start using them. Become a product of the product. Take advantage of the benefits. If you go to Carnival Cruise Lines, I don't know if Carnival's got one. Princess Cruise Lines has the Commodore program where if you go through their program and you complete their program, you get a free cruise and it can be up to a two week free cruise. Free is free. Free doesn't cost anything. Free is like a $2,000 cruise. That's a direct benefit. That's two years of cost of being in uh, evolution travel. Um, MSC has a program. It's like $299 for a one week cruise, all inclusive. And that, I think that covers booze. It does. Well, it did in 2019. I haven't looked. Post COVID? Post COVID. If you take advantage, if you look at the fantastic program with Marriott, if you look at, uh, you know, different cruise and tour discounts, go on fam trips, you, you gain knowledge. Knowledge is credibility. Credibility means that you're going to make more sales because customers believe what you're talking about. But the thing is, too, you're getting an automatic benefit from it. You're getting a return on your investment. Just like if you, and I'm this is not part of my list, but when you start your own home-based travel business, you have tax deductions. I can't tell you what those are because I'm not a CPA, but I can tell you that you could take advantage. You know, it, it, I can't tell you, you know, if you want to go on a free trip every week, that's up to you. As long as, by the way, you are professional when you are on these trips, yeah. you are representing Evolution and Archer Travel. As long as you are professional and it doesn't get back to us that, you know, somebody went on and they were, you know, hammered all the time, or they were recruiting clients, you know, from other travel agencies on this fam trip. These are, you know, these are no-nos that, that uh, certainly people should not be doing. But if you're going and you're learning and you're taking advantage, hey, you're in this business because you want to have some fun and make some money. So go have some fun. And then you'll make the money because, or you're going to save a lot of money, one or the other. So there's a direct benefit to doing that. And then finally, the last thing I have is pick an area within the travel business itself that you enjoy. Some people love all inclusives. So they become all inclusive experts. Some people love cruises. They become cruise experts. Some people are group experts. Some people are, I pick, a, pick an area, um, you know, Disney experts, sandals experts, you know, pick an area. I wouldn't pick an area, you know, I wouldn't be the crochet group cruise queen or king of the world because that's a niche market that's about as big as a quarter. But I would, I would pick some areas. Um, I didn't skip any numbers. I got the five. I said I had five. 
Um, he saw the chat box and he got distracted. I'm looking at the chat. Yeah, I'm the ADD. It's like, hey, there's a pretty bird. We will write them here for you in a minute. Um, <laughs> pick an area you love. Pick an area of the business that you enjoy. Um, I was for many, many years, and still am to some extent, I'm an air guy. I'm an, I'm an airline guy. I, I have a huge... Well, actually, I have a pretty huge client base of people that contact me for international business class tickets. Um, obviously, not so huge right now, but I have become an expert in how to discount, how to buy international business class airline tickets at substantially lower rates. So we make we make great commissions on that. Um, but it took me many, many years to develop that because it's obviously you're talking about tickets that start around thirty five hundred dollars and go up to fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. So that's a different market. I, it took me many years to develop that, but a lot of people develop Disney very quickly, or they they develop the cruises very quickly, or all inclusive. So there are ways that you can get involved and become an expert in something. Becoming an expert in something means that you're going to speak with authority, and when you speak with authority, people listen and they want to do business with you. Absolutely. Can I get in the weeds a little bit? Perfect. All right. So Ron's giving you the big overview. There's a couple of key things. What I would do. What I told new agents that have called me or we've done internally here, number one, when Susie's done training for our new agents here that we've hired, the first thing Susie has them do is to buy them a map. We, obviously we provide the map, but buy a map of the world. Get to know the world, because there's it's, it's a big one out there. Buy a map. Number two, what I recommend everyone do, and I do it myself, have a notepad and pen with you at all times, whether it's in your car, when you're walking on the beach, always have a notepad and pen because your client will call you at any given time and you have to be prepared to take notes. So those are very important things that I think is have a map and have a notepad and pen. You don't wanna be driving down the road, your client calls and you say, you know what, can I call you back in an hour because I'm not prepared. That's what they don't wanna hear from an agent. They wanna hear, let me pull over the side of the road and let me get your information and then pull over in a safe spot and take notes. You have a notepad, have a pen in your car, on your possession at all times. Um, those are the two things I, I highly recommend. Did I say, did I spell presence right? Oh my goodness. Do you even know how to spell presence? P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E? -E? -E -E. Is that right? Looks right to me. Okay. You, okay. Print your business cards. Print them and distribute them. Two, build a web presence and market it. Remember, social media is free. It is? Facebook's free. Instagram's free. What if you wanted to do Google ads? Well, the, you have to pay for that. Or banner ads. You would have to pay for that. Or Facebook ads. You pay for it. You could actually build your business and drive traffic. Absolutely. But it's not that expensive. Okay. Number three. Recruit. Break your business cards, distribute, build a web presence and market it and then recruit agents. Get a team built. Build a team. Build a team. You'll make revenue from that team and they will help you to promote and sell your clients as well. There's power in numbers. Number four. Take advantage of discounts. Take advantage of the discounts. Do the do the do do the seminars of the free cruises. Find out where the fam trips are. Find out where the hotel discounts are. Get out there and travel. Be a product of the product. And then when you're out there traveling, you're also promoting on social media. And when they see you're out there traveling and they know you know, hey. What restaurants do you recommend in Paris? Or where do you recommend going in, in Maui? Or what's a great golf course in Hilton Head? I mean, it, I can talk about places that I've been. Yeah, I might not have been there for five years, but they're not moving golf courses. They're not, you know, yeah, restaurants come and go, but decent restaurants are still going to be around. And then finally... Diana, thank you. Diana text um, in the chat box. She bought a globe and a world map. I have a globe at my house. It's it's awesome. Specialize. 
Specialize in one area, become an expert on that area. And by the way, when you have that area, when you specialize in that area, pick a second area and specialize in that as well. And then when you're done with that and you're, you're well-versed in those two areas, pick a third area. You know, I would have at least three specific areas because different business guys, we're selling, we're, we're selling the ever loving crap out of uh, land packages right now. Land packages are doing phenomenal because there's no cruise business. So if I was, if, if I was an all inclusive person, be great. But once all inclusive is if, if, you know, if I was a cruise person, I'd be doing terrible. But if I'm a cruise and all inclusive at a Disney, then at any particular point of time, I probably am going to make some revenue because that area of the industry is going to still be lively. You know, after 9-11, nobody ever sold any airline tickets. People were going on cruises all over the place. Again, specializing in, in a couple of different areas. So you've got some, uh, you've got some band uh, bandwidth in which to, to make sales. Okay. So, questions? Yes, those two. Let's open it up for questions. Anybody got any, any, any questions, comments, ideas? Nobody, we could go to lunch. Actually, I have one more thing I want to add. What? Merch. Market yourself. Really? You're going to shamelessly market your, your... I market Archer Travel right here. Archer Sports Travel. I, it's an option. You shamelessly market my products and programs? Not shamelessly. Well, you should. <laughs> Guys, we have a lot. We we have a lot of t-shirts and sweatshirts and and different things that we that we wear as well. Um, that you know, and, and again, we've we've tried to we've tried to be professional. We we have nice designs, nice logos. We have them we have them stitched up and not just you know printed, but actually stitched. So. Uh, where do they find? Okay, uh, Shanae, uh, we're not talking about Vax right now, but if you want to go ahead and call the office, uh, they'll help you out with the uh, Vax payment program within the 60 days. Um, I, I don't really know off the top of my head, so uh, but I would talk to Susie or uh, Jose on that. So just call the Archers 1-800-272-4377 uh, number. Uh, where do we find classes with the suppliers? Well, some of them are on their websites. Some of them? Some of them. All of them. Uh, there, some are updating right now because of COVID. Okay. Yeah. I would say 90% are on the website, but for, because of COVID, they've taken a lot and of that. If they can't find them on the website, what do they do? Call us. Call Archer Travel and we'll, we'll, we'll dig deep. What is, what, is, what, what is the answer to any question that you ever want? Where's the, what's the answer? What's the answer to any question that they would have? Call what? Archer Travel. There you go. Very simple. Guys, we're a re guys we're, we are a resource for you here. We have people that we hire that sit out there every day waiting to answer the phone calls, whether it be a commission question or whether it be uh, a travel question or whether it be a marketing question. I mean, guys, it, it, it's real simple. Uh, you give us a call. Travel Academy and Travel University. Yep, yep. you can. Uh in the Travel Cafe, we post a lot of information for you. So make sure you go to your Travel Cafe. So as you know, what we're doing uh, is each week now, and I think we're in the third week of the program, each week that we, uh, that we enter, uh, our staff has selected a topic. This week's topic is, I'm in Evolution Travel. I joined Evolution Travel. What now? And so everything that... Um, we will do Susie's seminar, Jose's seminar, uh, Violet's seminar. Those all speak to those areas. And I'm kind of the introduction. And so uh, Susie and Jose are also going to talk about, um, you know, they're going to take specific areas. Uh, you know, uh, Jose, I believe, is going to talk about, you know, travel discounts. And Susie's going to talk about um, what suppliers pay the best commissions. So, you know, how do I make the most money? What now? Okay, we'll find suppliers that are paying the most money. So um, uh, what if you don't have a market to recruit to? Then you would live in a very, very, very remote place where there's nobody around. Everybody has a market to recruit to. I, 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 I don't know... Um, I mean, if you're in that market and we recruited you, then that's, that proves that there's a market to recruit to. So 
um, I think you just have to uh, you have to look around and 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 see um, people that are like minded and, and want to uh, make additional revenue and, and love travel. Um, but I, I I don't I believe there's a market no matter where you are. Uh, are there training videos for recruiting? It's not my side. I don't have that answer. So I apologize. I don't have that answer. When Reggie says it's not my side, Archer Travel is the travel side and, and network marketing is done on uh, evolution side. And I do know that Nikki Lee and a lot of the agents uh, do a lot of recruiting. I don't know if they actually have specific videos on recruiting. Um, I, yeah, I would, I, I don't know where to, I don't know where yeah. to, uh, to tell you to go with that. I could do some research, but uh, uh, marketing and, and recruiting is done on uh, as far as specific videos. And, and I, I will be getting into that more now that I've adopted this recruiting mentality. So um, we're a little premature with that, but um, I will, I will spend some time and, and try to see if we can find some recruiting videos to get them up in your back office. Nikki Lee has recruiting videos. Yeah, not surprising. Um, we have Nikki one, Lee on YouTube. We do have one big announcement. We do? Yes, you do. You have it right there. Oh. You have one big announcement. Family reunion. Sahara Hotel, Las Vegas, July 15 to 18. This is going to be a spectacular program. We've got a travel trade show. We've got education. We've got, um, what else we got? We got a gala dinner. We got, a big we got awards. awards. We got $10,000 in travel prizes being given away. We got $5,000 in cash Gosh. being given away. If you guys are not coming to, the, to uh, the Evolution Family Reunion, July 15th to 18th, you're missing out. You're missing out on the ability to learn. You're missing out on the ability to, to get travel and make some cash. And the nice thing about the family reunions, you're going to be around your peers and you guys can talk about different ways as we're talking here, what has worked for certain people in certain areas. So it's a great way to market within, within your own teams. Um, it's fun. I can't wait to see everyone as well. And you're going to be able to meet the suppliers. You're going to be able to talk to them face to face. And obviously we have the big dinner and you get to speak and talk to the founder and um, and the founders members. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. And it's a great hotel. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up. We're into our 30 minutes. We want to make sure we keep these about 30 minutes so, so that people will watch them and not get bored and leave. I don't know why they would ever get bored watching us. We're such good looking young men. Did you guys know that Reggie moved out of my house? Reggie's got his own place now. I don't have a 14 year old and 11 year old living in my house playing video games. And we have this dog that he, well, he had a dog. It's joint custody now. Now it is. Yes. yes. We've decided, but uh, life is good. Things are going on. We appreciate everything you guys are doing. Travel is coming back guys. Land is land sales are huge. Uh, cruises, cruises are, you know, cruises are going to be back sometime this year. Um, hopefully it'll be before November the 1st. NCL has petitioned the, uh, CDC. Uh, the CDC to uh, go in in July. Um, make sure you get vaccinated, uh, please, uh, and get out there and, and take some trips. So again, thank you for all you do. And uh, we appreciate you guys. And uh, we will be back, uh, if not next week uh, or sooner. So thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye for now. You're leaving. I'm turning off the video. Ah. Thanks, guys.